the indie horror scene of games. From the likes of Slender DA pages back in 2012 before the arrival in 2013, Five Nights at Freddy's in 2014, and something as innocent looking like Doki Doki Literature Club, horror games continue to strive. But there is one horror game that's rather... obscure. And it wasn't until it got released onto the Switch that it gained a... rather small following, I want to say. For today's review, this is Shut Eye. Enjoy the show. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new review. Today we'll be looking at Shut Eye. This game is a budget horror game developed by Hush Interactive and was published by Forever Entertainment. It was originally released in 2016 on Steam and later got to the Switch in the summer of 2018. The way how I discovered this game is by YouTuber Yub who played this game on his channel and that video got me rather interested in the game. Keep in mind this was before Slender the Arrival got onto the Switch so I was pretty stoked to have Shut Eye on my system and the best part is that it's not expensive at all. It's a $4 download so you're not crippling your wallet if you bought it. But without further ado, is this game any good and is it something I can recommend to you? Let's find out. Shut Eye's plot is rather minimalistic so there's really not that much of an overarching story to it. So with the power of Google, the story is this. You take control of a young child, most likely a little girl, and she spends the week away from her parents in a place away from home. In the game, toys raging from a creepy as all fuck teddy bear, one of Sid's Frankenstein creations from Toy Story, and hey, didn't know Keemstar made a cameo in this game. All joking aside, that's it for the story. I told you it was minimalistic, but I do have a few problems with the story. One of them is with the child's parents. Where the hell are they? What's the relationship between the child and the parents? These are questions that shouldn't even be asked, yeah here they are. Then again, the thing that gets a horror game good, it's the gameplay. So what's the gameplay like? The gameplay of Shot Eye is like a more unsettling take on FNAF 4's gameplay. We take control of the child and the name of the game is to walk, shine a flashlight akin to FNAF 2, play this music box, hunt for some batteries, and die. In all honesty here, there seems to be an endless amount of nights to this game. According to how long to be, Shut Eye only takes around an hour and a half to beat. As for how many nights there are, there are said to be around 8 nights in total, and the game gets more difficult as you proceed through each night. Except for night 6. This night to me is the hardest night in the entire game. The anxiety counter you see only gets worse and worse as you continue in the game. Once it reaches 100, it's an automatic death. So. How can you decrease said anxiety? Well, by using this just as creepy as fuck music box, of course, which uses the same batteries as your flashlight. In what universe does a flashlight and the music box run on the same batteries? It makes no sense at all. In fact, that's the only reason why I have yet to beat this game. Overall, the gameplay, outside the shitty battery mechanic, it's okay. Visually, well, it's certainly creepy, that's for sure. I can't pinpoint what engine Hush used to make it, so I'm going to assume it's either Unity or Unreal, and I will go over the OST, but it seems like the game doesn't use one, which to me, heightens the creep factor of the game. Less is more, I say, when it comes to a horror game. So let's recap everything I just discussed. The story is okay, gameplay is okay, albeit frustrating, visually it's good, and there's no OST, which really helps you feel more immersed in the game I want to say. Here are my closing thoughts. To me, Shut Eye is a game that I wouldn't mind playing with friends just to see how they would react, but alone, while it does make more sense to play alone in your own room in the dark, it just makes the game feel boring to me. Overall, Shut Eye really isn't that good. For a budget horror game, it's passable, but compared to something like Slender the Arrival, 
Shut Eye pales in comparison. Overall, Shut Eye gets my score of a 5.5 out of 10. But now I want to know what you all think. Did you play Shut Eye? Did you enjoy it? And is it something you can recommend to a friend? Leave your answers in the comments below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And while you're here, consider subscribing and turning on the bell to be notified when I make a new video. As always, my social media links are down below. I've been Hover Kid, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.